and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a subscriber. You may never have seen my hair like this, but that is exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. I am going to be sharing with you guys, not how to achieve this look, um, how to go from this curly, crazy blow dry, uh, crazy curly, wet hair to this beautiful at home blow dry. Um, now there's nothing wrong with curly hair and if you can fully embrace your curly hair I would love to be able to do so one day um, and when I'm on holiday there's just something about the salt water that leaves my hair like a lov lovely like natural curly crisp curl and it's just lovely and it makes me feel great. Um, however in this country it tends to dry really fuzzy really like frayed and horrible and it just doesn't stay nice for longer than one day so I tend to try my best to style it. Now normally when I style my hair I use three different tools so I use a hairdryer and a brush then I would use a GHD straightener and then I would use a curling tong which seems excessive and it always is such a chore for me so I recently did a paid collaboration over on Instagram this is not however paid this is just generally my honest feedback of how amazing this product is um, with the Revlon One Step styling volumizing tool I will leave it linked down below however it was sold out when I last tried to link it so um I'm not sure if it will still be there but definitely head down to the link below and see um it is phenomenal and you can get this in a pink color as well the pink one is for shorter hair and the red one is for slightly longer hair um, so what I've done is is what I normally do. I've done my makeup, so I've let my hair dry as naturally as much as possible. However, it is still quite damp. Um, if it wasn't and I wanted to dry it completely straight from damp, I would just give it a once over with the tool. So basically you turn it on and it sounds exactly like a hair dryer. Um, and the other magical thing about this is that it's a lot less damaging to your hair. It has a lower heat percentage and the titanium steel on here, I don't know how, but it is apparently a lot less damage into the hair. Um, and you can imagine not putting three different types of heat onto your hair is gonna be a lot more beneficial to just use one type of heat on your hair rather than three things in a row, like how damaged that would probably be to your hair. I don't even wanna think about it. So I've used my Tangle Teaser to brush through my hair. Um, I have this pink one, I absolutely love it, and I would never change away from a Tangle Teaser now. And then I've also used on my hair this morning, um, my L'Oreal Series X, but this is a 10 in one um, like fixer basically of hair and it leaves like this lovely soft finish on your hair. If you're someone who again has curly hair, you will know how hard it is to get like a soft smooth finish on your hair without it feeling like dry or fuzzy or crispy, like you probably just singed it with all the heat. So um, this literally, you'll like, I honestly, this is such a game changer for me and I was like quite doubtful that it was gonna be as effective as it has been, considering how curly my hair is naturally, as you can see. Um, and it's not even fully dry yet. Like as the day goes on, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and fuller and fuller and fuller. So I'm excited to share this with you. So let's get straight into it. Um, if you aren't following me over on Instagram, please do feel free to head over there as well. I do share things daily over there. Um, and yeah, so how I start, will I section my hair into two sides um, and then I put one completely out of the way so from wet to dry like completely finished it only takes me 15 minutes which I think again is a miracle considering how curly my hair is so I've just completely popped one side up and then I'm going to section the bottom half of this hair and then put the other side up as well so I work in quite small sections to make sure I get right from root to tip because if, if you have curly hair you will know how hard it is to get the root straight without a straightener but how i work it is i try and get this piece of hair as straight as possible so i almost like hold it straight i let the heat allow it just to come in here as i pull it down so i'm just going to pop it on and do it obviously i can't speak while it's on <laughs> Okay, so as you'll see, I've, I'm using it to give myself that like lovely blow-dried, like soft curl. Um, you can just use this completely straight and not curl it at the bottom. So all I'm doing at the bottom is I'm just twisting it while the heat is on. I'm just consistently, just keep going and twisting and twisting and twisting like this. Um, and then it comes into this lovely curl at the end. So you'll see the finished look obviously will be a bit more <laughs> spectacular in this one curl. But you can see already how like easy and soft and sleek that is. 
um, with just the one piece. So it is also a tool that you can just use it from like curly to straight as well, which is amazing. I just like the blow dry look. Um, I think it's a lot more natural, a lot nicer. It's just much more me. Um, and it's a look that I've even found like hairdressers struggle to get with my hair. So I feel like I'm so glad I finally found something that works on my hair. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is continue to do all the sections of the side of my hair and then go on to do the other. It really, really is that simple. Um, when I first got it, um, I had to do the ad on Instagram and I had no idea how it was gonna come out and it came out amazing on my first go. So, and that was just, just literally having a go with it. So I don't think it's something you need to get a technique with. I think if you're used to blow drying your hair with a brush, it will be a breeze for you. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna style the rest of my hair and then I will show you the finished result. <laughs> and you get brought a cup of coffee halfway through. It's a mid, ma a mar, what can I speak? A miracle and a magical. I couldn't get my words out. Miracle tool. at the root the only tip I would give you guys is when you're like when I was doing I was doing it down you can go under and do it up because obviously that's going to give you lift as it would with your um normal blow dry and that is the finished result I, <laughs> typically it's not the best I've ever done it I think it's because I was doing it into the camera rather than doing it into the mirror but you can see like just just like the movement of it like how bouncy it is how smooth it is um how there's like no kinks in it and if that if you do see any kinks when you go through just pop the heat back on and go through them um and you can see how like that nice curl just finishes there it's super simple super easy and i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did click that thumbs up if you've ever used a styling tool like this then please let me know down below in the comments or if you're excited to try it let me know down in the comments um, and also let me know any more videos you want to see in 2021 thank you all for being here make sure you subscribe to the alarm bell button on make sure you follow me over on instagram as well and i'll hopefully see you in the next one bye for now